So let's begin our discussion on electric potential energy. Now before we discuss this concept and state where it comes from, let's recall the concept of gravitational force and gravitational potential energy. Now when we discuss gravitational forces, we essentially define the change in gravitational potential energy of an object with some mass between some two points A and B as the negative quantity of work that is done by that gravitational force on that object when we move that object from some point A to some point B. So let's suppose we have the following box and we move it from point A to point B. Now the way we move it is we simply take our box and we let it go and we allow the force of gravity to do all that work to bring our box this distance H from our point A to point B which is found on the ground. Now we can express this statement using the following equation which states the following. We have our UB minus UA, where UB is the gravitational potential energy of the object at position B, and UA is simply the gravitational potential energy of the object at point A. So we take the difference of the two, and that is equal to the change in gravitational potential energy of the object as it moves from A to B. And this is equal to the negative of the work done by the force of gravity on our object. Now by definition work is equal to force multiplied by our displacement. Now in this case our displacement is H and the force is the force of gravity. So that means force is equal to mass of the object multiplied by the gravitational constant G. So that means the change in U is equal to negative M times G multiplied by H. So when the object travels from position A to position B, it loses gravitational potential energy because that gravitational potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy of the motion of our object, of the box in this case. Now, the same exact concept of potential energy exists for electric forces and this is called electric potential energy. So we can define the change in electric potential energy given by change in U when a point charge Q is moved from point A to point B as the negative amount of work that is done by that particular electric force to move that charge from point A to point B. So let's look at the following diagram. Let's suppose we place a tiny positive point charge given by Q between two parallel plates as shown in the following diagram. So we assume this distance is much larger than this distance D, which is the distance between our two plates. So we have the positive plate and the negative plate. And because this distance D is much smaller than the length of the two plates, we assume that the electric field is constant. Now, if this point charge is placed at the positive plate and released, it will move to the opposite plate as a result of the electric force created by the uniform electric field in the same exact way that this mass moved from point A to point B as a result of our gravitational field given by lowercase g. So this lowercase g is simply the gravitational field that is produced by the Earth. Now, let's see exactly what takes place. So we have our object is placed at position A and it's not moving. So that means it has no kinetic energy. It only has gravitational potential energy. So we release our object and it travels downward and it begins to gain kinetic energy because some of that gravitational potential energy is being transformed into our kinetic energy of the motion of the object. Now, in the same exact way, at point A, the charge Q 
has a maximum electric potential energy. So our charge is not moving, its kinetic energy is zero, but it has a maximum potential energy, maximum electric potential energy. As the charge Q begins to move across, the electric potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy of our charge, of the motion of that charge in the same exact way that our mass gained kinetic energy because some of that gravitational potential energy was converted into kinetic energy of the motion of the box. Now we are ready to define our equation for electric potential energy when our electric field is assumed to be constant. So, the change in electric potential energy is equal to QB minus QA, where QB is the electric potential energy of our charge at position B, and QA is the electric potential energy of the charge at position A, where this is position A and this is position B. Now, this is equal to negative of the work done by that electric force that is produced by the electric field. Now, once again, by definition, work is equal to force multiplied by our displacement. Now, the distance here is simply this distance d, and the force in this case is the electric force produced by our electric field. So that means force is equal to Q multiplied by E, the electric field multiplied by the quantity of charge. So, we see the following equation. The change in gravity or the change in electric potential energy is equal to negative Q multiplied by E multiplied by D. And this only works as long as our electric field is assumed to be uniform. Now, let's compare this equation and this equation. We had the mass in this case, we had the Q in this case. We had the G, the gravitational constant, which is simply our constant gravitational field. Here we have our constant electric field, E. Here we had the height, our displacement, and here we had our distance, also our displacement. So we see that these two equations are very similar, and that's because electric forces and gravitational forces forces are very similar. So let's look at the following example. The electric field between two parallel plates is uniform and is equal to 300 newtons per coulomb. If the distance between them is 10 centimeters, calculate the electric potential energy of the positive charge Q given by 10 microcoulombs placed at the positive plate. So we essentially have the same exact situation as in this case. We have two parallel plates, the positive and the negative plate, separated by distance d, which is equal to 10 centimeters or equivalently 0.1 meter. So this is a positive charge placed on the positive plate. We release it and it travels as a result of having a maximum quantity of our electric potential energy at this position. So it tends to move downward. Now, it has a maximum electric potential energy at this position. So to calculate, we simply use this equation. The change in U is equal to, we have 10 multiplied by 10 to the negative 6 coulombs multiplied by our electric field 300 newtons per coulomb multiplied by the distance 0 0.1 and we obtain 3.0 times 10 to the negative 4 joules of energy. So this is how much electric potential energy our point charge has at this position. So as we release it, it loses this energy and that energy is transformed into kinetic energy of the motion of this point charge.